Scott, what is it? What's wrong? I'm sorry. Is it going to be a wedding, Mom? Uh, one second, baby. Yes, yes, Emma, there is going to be a fantastic wedding. It just isn't going to be here. You know what, honey? Mommy needs to talk to Scott for one second, okay? Um, okay. Well, I, don't, I don't understand. We cannot get married here in this house, in this room. But it was your idea. No, I know, and it was completely and utterly wrong. We're moving out of here, Annie. And not just because of JR and the rest, but because of the memories. All the bad memories that happened in this place. Are you talking about Stuart? Yes, I'm talking about my father. My father died in this room. You married Adam in this room. Why would I want the most important, most beautiful day of my life to be surrounded by so much unhappiness? Okay, but so you still want to get married? Do you doubt that? Well, for a second, I thought that you... I, I love you, Annie. I want you to be my wife. That hasn't changed. I got an idea. What? Can you stick around for a while? Uh, yeah. 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 Scott, Good. What, what are you doing? Okay, I can't, I can't tell you, but I think you're going to like it. Mm. Where's she going, Mommy? I don't know, sweetheart, but, um... I think Scott just wants to make sure that everything's... perfect. <laughs> For so long, you've been asking me to live our lives. You, me, and AJ. I, I can't promise you that I'm not going to ever make a mistake. But I can't promise you that I'm not going to make the same kind of mistake I made with Annie. You can't know that. Look at me. When I was dying, I made so many promises to myself. And when I got better, I broke most of them. Especially the ones about being a better husband. Jer, please. I, I am such a fool for taking you for granted, and you have to know that I would never do that Jared, again. Jer, please, you just gotta stop, Marissa, okay? you have to know how sorry no. I am. No, 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 no. It wasn't just you. It wasn't just you. Are you all right? I should have never left you alone. It was inevitable, him finding out. And now it's done. I mean, my career is complete. No, hey, 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 not so fast. You know it's true. David will use this against everybody. Frankie and Jake. He'll make sure that they're punished for supporting me. It ain't over till it's over. I don't know about that. Well, I do. You are Dr. Angela Hubbard, my wife. I mean, you can conquer the whole damn world and still have time to make practice for your family. We're having this baby together, Angela. David Hayward can't take a thing from you. He'll take what he takes, not the most important things. I knew it. <laughs> I knew something's been going on with her for weeks. But this, no. No, she covered up really well. Poor Angie. She must have been devastated. Yeah, well, poor Angie may have cost our hospital its charter. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Blind doctors treating patients? Come on. Well, what you told me, she always had another doctor there to back her up. Greenlee, I don't think you understand the seriousness of this. This woman put our entire investment in jeopardy because of her stubborn, arrogant insistence that she's the only doctor who can make a difference. Oh, sounds like somebody else I know. The woman crossed the line. Then let the lawyers handle the fallout if there is any. Angie's going blind. Obviously, she can't keep seeing patients, but she could be an administrator. You're not gonna let that happen. Are you? All right, you know something? It's been a long day. Why don't we talk about this some other time? No, no, that would never do. You want your pound of flesh for all the wrongs the Hubbards have done to you, and you're going to get it no matter what. 
Tell me something, David. How many battles can you handle? How many wars can you fight? 